Minister Lecce, it seems like you're pretty close. You, you agree on money. The union wants more staffing and ECE in every kindergarten. Can you budge on that? Are you willing to budge on that? Uh, it is clear that the union uh, wants higher salary raises. Uh, they made it very clear today in their press conference that what was offered was insufficient. Um, and I think it's unfair. The union has asked the government to, re to revoke our legislation. We did that. It didn't get us a deal. They asked us to increase our pay. We did that now twice by $335 million as of last night, a significant increase, especially for the lowest paid workers. That didn't get us a deal. They asked us not to create any concessions. That didn't get us a deal. We, they asked us to maintain benefits, pensions, and 131 days of sick leave, the best in Canada. That didn't get us a deal. My point, Richard, is we have done everything humanly possible in good faith around the clock to get a deal, to make these workers understand we value them. Uh, but it's obvious what they're looking for. I've never heard the word services. This has all been about pay up until last night. They, were, they striked only two weeks ago and, and seeking almost, almost 11%, over 11% every single year. We are urging the union to seriously reflect on the profound impact a strike has on a child, on their working parents, and on the economy. This shouldn't be done every few weeks casually. This has real impacts on kids. It's, they said they weren't happy with the money, but they were they ha were willing to take that raise that you offered. But they wanted that ECE in every kindergarten. So you're not willing to budge on that. What I'm willing to commit to uh, is increasing our offer by 335 million. I will mention that part of our proposal is the uh, hiring of 1,800 additional QP education workers in our schools, 1,800 more for the entire duration of this four-year contract. That is going to increase staffing. We've hired 7,000 staff to date under our progressive conservative government. I know what their contention is. I know what this is about. You know what this is about. It's a demand for higher pay even after we've fulfilled our commitment to scale up our pay for the lowest pay workers significantly. They say it's not about pay, but do you think QP is being greedy? I think QP is just not considering the, the impacts of strikes on children. I think they have, uh, it seems just so casual that a week or two uh, uh, later they're back on a strike footing, 36 hours after we rescinded the bill, um, they're still on a path to a strike. I think they're not putting the interest and welfare of children first because the most vulnerable kids are the ones that pay the price. I mean honestly, it's the kids with special education needs that need a routine, it's the kids that need access to breakfast programs, the kids that need access to mental health support and speech pathology therapy. It's the most vulnerable to pay the price. Um, and I just wish the union would stay at the table with us and negotiate as we will. And I were to stay there every day so that we can get a deal. Putting the problems in a path to a, a strike, imposing hardship, parents scrambling for childcare. Um, I know you say you want a deal by Monday and hopefully you get a deal by Monday, but can you give parents some assurance today that if there isn't, will you be bringing in back to work legislation? Uh, we've been very clear. Uh, our commitment is to get a voluntary agreement. We're going to stay at the table. We're going to work through the mediator. I'd urge the union to do the same, not to walk away from now a $335 million increase in pay. Everything they asked, we have delivered. We've re revoked the bill. We've increased their pay. We've put a focus on lower paid workers. We've maintained the best pensions and benefits and sick leave in Canada. And we're hiring 1,800 more of their workers next year and every year over the course of the contract. The union has to... Uh, uh, come to the realization these strikes hurt children and they should stay with us work with us the negotiating table to land a deal that is fair that keeps kids in school and it is so unfair and so unacceptable that children in this province are now potentially going to be disrupted again by a union who sought two weeks ago nearly a 50 percent increase in pay 11.7 percent every year now they continue to have significant demands for higher pay even after we just increased it significantly like i mean a you dropped the two-tier thing, right? You were offering the same wage for everyone. They originally wanted us to focus on the lower paid workers, so we thought a differentiated pay grid. You know, the lower paid gets more, those on the higher uh, side of the wage scale you gets a bit that. less. We then dropped that, you know, as a good faith offer to the union to say, okay, we will provide one wage enhancement across the sector. It costs more, but we will do that in the interest of getting a deal. And so my point in short is why are we here? Why are kids potentially out of class? Why do parents have to feel this anxiety? And I think everyone watching knows exactly what's driving this. It has always been about pay. They went on strike, as you recall, last Sunday before they knew about legislation on the basis of not getting 11.7 increase every year. Some people think it's over the course they of They were upset years. with the legislation too. 
Well, they didn't know about it on Sunday, to be fair, so they striked on the basis of pay. On Monday, that became their new rationale, not on Sunday. They couldn't imagine the legislation or the... Or the Speaking stuff. of that, my last question for you is, sure. will, if this doesn't go anywhere, the talks, will you reintroduce, will your government reintroduce Bill 28? No, we are very committed, obviously, to getting a deal, staying at the table. But you won't close the door to back-to-work legislation. I think there's a path to get a voluntary deal. Uh, it doesn't sound like it, though, right now. Well, I mean, honestly, on the first day of the last strike notice three years ago, many people thought that we did get to the finish line. It was hours before the deadline, but we did get there. I'm going to remain focused on children, on staying at the table, working with the mediator, getting a deal, especially knowing that we have significantly increased the pay for the lowest paid workers. I want them to be cared for. I just also want the union to care about the kids who are now going to be out of class for potentially days on end. And that is not fair. Um, and I just think we shouldn't be so casual uh, about considering a strike when the kids have been through the most exceptional difficulty. It's the right, though, too. Uh, it's the right of a child to be in school, and I really hope the union will preserve that, stay at the table, get a deal, recognizing we have increased their offer by just one in one week, $335 million more million on the table uh, for QP workers alone. I really hope they accept this deal. Thank you for your time, Minister. Thank you.